Hi, this is Bob, and welcome to Bob's World Cars. right now I'm still trying to digest the fact that I'm going to be driving on Talladega Speedway I'm scared <laughs> so tell me what you think about the uh, the banking that's coming up it's going to be interesting from what I can see here in the uh, Geico restart zone it doesn't look that much of a banking here on the straightaway uh, it's going to be an event when we get to the corner to see how much that's going to change
this stretch here has a lot of skid marks into the wall. exciting I wasn't expecting that so tell me about it 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 was a, a very big sensation you do feel the car going down and I tending to turn the wheels more to the left to keep the car up there it almost feels a sensation that it really wants to roll down the hill it made a difference at the higher speed it seemed to hold the track a lot better when you're going quicker so I can see when they are going at the speeds that these people drive these drivers drive how that keeps you on the track and again if you ever lost it hit the wall and just you would just fall right off the track and there's quite a few skid marks you would see where definitely somebody lost the tire or lost the wheel because the skid mark would, would be going in the direction of the turn and all of a sudden would go straight 90 degrees straight up into the wall so that was interesting to see but uh, yeah would you recommend it for anybody else Oh, sure. I would recommend it for people who are race car drivers, people who aren't drivers, just to try it out, just to get a sensation. So when they start talking about the drivers, start talking about the situation and how the track feels, you can relate to them. And it makes it uh, more, uh, more of a reality of what's happening on the track instead of just listening to people and watching cars go around in a circle. So you've been to other tracks. How does this compare? The banking was much, much higher. The banking made the difference here uh, compared to Homestead. Um, been on uh, road circuits, which doesn't have the banking of here, and you get tossed around a lot. Here, the sensation in the seat, because you're not, you don't have the the five-way uh, straps, you're, you're being pushed towards there. So as you're holding onto the wheel, you're also leaning to the, uh, to the right to keep yourself in position. So it's, uh, it's quite a different feeling. It's, it's very remarkable. I can imagine, as you said, you did 130 miles an hour on here. Um, I think I did 94. That's as fast as they were taking us around here. So that's got to be a, a much faster sensation. Uh, you're going through the corner a lot quicker. You have to pay attention. So these guys that do 200 miles an hour on here have got to be paying attention to what they're doing, especially when they're in a crowd of three wide four wide and the, the the cars are being buffeted by the wind left and right and everything these drivers are something else Thank you for watching our latest episode of Bob's World Cars. 
please click on the like and subscribe buttons to view more adventures.